Alright, first things first, let me just grab everything. That I need to from here. Um... Okay, that's it for that. Haven't used any potions, so that's okay. So I have to grab those for now. Yesterday I upgraded my all my gear, so I'm good with that. Oh, this is really becoming more and more lively. This looks really good. Talk to Deke a little later. Go check on the animals real quick. Okay, so they are still on cooldown. Okay, so what's the next main mission here? I do have another talent. Which I think for now... Actually, you know what? I'm going to use it on the stealth because I do want... To be able to move faster. And then quest wise, let's see what's up. Alright, attend astronomy astronomy class. So I'm gonna do that. I think the one with Deke is yeah. A little bit higher, so I'll leave that one. I'll definitely do it before this um quest line is finished. Like maybe I'll do it after the, after the astronomy class. Um, but for now, I'm going to go to astronomy class first. So Professor Shaw's class is at the top of the astronomy tower. Upstairs from the entrance to the room of requirement. I should head there now. Okay, so pretty much means that I can just, like... There we go. It's kind of hidden, but I got it. your reading is the dragon that's exciting i suppose perhaps you're due for an adventure ladies professor shah astronomy is not divination you won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from oh, which they gazed nice. millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. She's in the wind. Oh, 
Hello, I'm Amit. We met in potions class. I'm happy to report that we've yet to have any explosions in this class. Oh, <coughs> hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Uh, thank you, my friend. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. Oh. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I. I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Can I go down there? Ah, a pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. Professor Shaw, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? I'm going to dismiss divination, why? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar, the other is mere lunacy. Why gotta be like that? What are astronomy tables? You mentioned astronomy tables earlier, in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Alright, so it was interesting talking to her. What was this? Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. Ugh, not how I wanted to spend my evening. So first you blow up potions class and now you complain about this? Man. Our meat thinks he knows everything. Even told me he can speak gobbledygook. Sounded like gibberish to me. I mean, you're kind of the same, bro. I had heard about these odd stone tables out in the Highland. Perhaps that's what Professor Shah was talking about. Yep, I've seen them myself. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. What? The constellations are beautiful. I'm not sure they're worth dying of a cold for, but they are beautiful. <laughs> Okay, that was kind of cool. I'm glad I came back up here. The All right, perfect I'm night for. Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. 
I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Hmm. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? Hell no yeah. one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Yo. Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Sounds exciting. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? I'm sure to look cool as hell. Ooh. Was this by the beastery? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Interesting. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, hmm. charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? Are you scared? Are you scared? I'm meat. Duh. Okay. Hmm. Confringo! A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as... Tidy, as I expected. Yo. Yeah. Amit, could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly. Where, why the fascination with stars? Why are you so fascinated with stars? I suppose because there is so much to learn about them. I mean, there is plenty to learn about a lot of subjects, but astronomy seems limitless. Always something new being discovered. They are forever discovering new moons and stars. In fact, they discovered a new planet just 50 years ago. Where's the table? Where precisely is the table we're looking for? According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, it may be somewhere along the castle wall. That's all. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, very well then. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Revelio. Ah, that's what that was. Caged bathtub. This bathtub has been kept behind lock and key for as long as anyone can remember. Rumor has it that the tub was enchanted to chase after students decades ago who were too obsessed with their students, with their studies, to care much for personal hygiene. Yeah, that's amazing. Something else. Here. Confringo! Revelio! What's this? Nice. More cobwebs. You don't a think loot. any spiders might be lurking about? Oh no. Not this close to school, I meet. The Ooh. constellation should appear near the center of your view. Ah. Right, so gotta zoom in. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. It's a lira. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Hmm. <laughs> I look forward to that. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. 
Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Of course, he doesn't speak it, because, you know, why would they do that? All right, that's cool. I like that. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to be obsessed with finding these tables, bro. Let's see. Exploration. It's the last one. So how many are there? I don't know. But I'll get a starry-eyed seer scarf. They have 12 magical hotspots. Okay. Let us go... <clears throat> ...to the next quest. Um, what's in here? Telescope. Fancy telescope. It's a meets old one, but it looks practically brand new. Okay. So I got nothing right now. So let me go ahead and... I'm sure it's going to pop up, but... For now, though, I'm going to do In the Shadow of the Bloodline. Sebastian and Ominous were seen arguing in the Great Hall. I should find out what, what it, this is about. You know what? I think... I have learned of a wizard oh, who is, is being harassed by Halo. He may be... Ah, <sighs> never do get tired of seeing the astronomy oh, tower at come night. On, man. What a view. Man, he ruined it. There's somebody else. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? I gotta read Nazi's thing again. Where's she at? Uh, here. Um, I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Harlow. He may be able to provide the evidence. We need to take Harlow down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at, at his home, Nati. Okay, well, I'm not going to do his Professor Figs right now. Lost Child. I'm going to do the Shadow of the Bloodline one. But I'll walk there because I want to see if I can find stuff. Rebellion. It's on the other side. Where is it? Revelio. Oh, here. Quidditch Pitch. The Hogwarts Quidditch Pitch is a site of intense house rivalries as chasers, beaters, keepers, and seekers take to the skies in pursuits of the Quidditch Cup. That is, of course, when the favorite sport of the wizarding world has not been cancelled for the year by an exceptionally oblivious headmaster. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Okay, I think I... Revelio. Can't fly here? Why? What the hell? Revelio. What's going on? <laughs> hmm. It's so odd. Okay. But alright, but alright. <laughs> There's locks. Oh, there's a lot of moons in here. Yes. Alohomora. Hello? <laughs> what? 
what? Um, wow. The game said nah, bro. Confringo. Are you kidding me? What the heck? Akio. What is going on right now? Let's see if fast traveling fixes it. This is weird. Okay, wait. Okay, I can fly again, so that got fixed. There we go. Okay. That Revenue. was hella weird. It's like the game thought I was still flying or something. I don't know. Alohomora. See what's in this place. Rebellion. Bunch of notes and chests. What's this note? Dear Professor Howen, I would be more than happy to take any excess puff skin hair from you. I could collect it when I next make a delivery to the castle. Sounds as if you have plenty for your classroom needs. Perhaps you might e even have time for a cup of tea. A little bird told me that once you encountered an Akani. Akami? I can't say I'd mind hearing about that. I once encountered a young most green when I was collecting toad hide in the west. Of course, it could have been a baby wyvern. Hard to tell at that age. Anyway, not for the faint of heart is it this life with magical beasts. Looking forward to your response. Ellie Peck. Oh. Revelio. Where's the moon? Give me the moon. Right now, damn you guys. Pretty sure that counts as me taking it for the Hogwarts, right? Yeah, it's four out of ten. Um, let me see the bell tower wing. There's one there. There's three in the library annex. Uh, this is basically. Postal puzzle room too. Oh wow, interesting. I wonder where this other statue is. This looks weird. Just a random closet. Doesn't even look like a closet. 